and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my project polish update for you and I'm kind of excited about this update because I have another MD and I'm very excited about that. I'm always happy when I can finish a polish. I love polishes and um, I just I just want to play with them all the time. So um, yeah and the more I use up that means the more I can buy later, right? Is that the way this goes? I don't know. Anyway, Project Polish was originally started by Cherish. Uh, she's Pretty Pistol 86, I believe. She has not posted anything on her channel in a long time, but I'm gonna link her down below um, if you wanna check out some of her older videos. It's a real sweetheart. I, I hope someday she comes back to YouTube because I kinda miss her, um, her panning and like all of her beautiful nail polishes. Um, but anyway, I originally started this year with 16 polishes in this project that I wanted to finish. And um, I'm doing okay. I I'm not halfway there yet, but I'm doing okay. I um, will show you what empty I have, though I'm not sure anyone's going to be totally surprised by this one. This is the um, Canary Color by Nina. I had frankened it into this shade right here, which is what I currently have on my toes. This one is done. I cannot get any more out of this one. I mean, I can kind of get a little bit on the brush and it makes it a little schmear, if you know what I mean, but um, nothing that I can do a whole nail or anything on. So um, yeah, that is done. I may or may not franken something else into this one. I'm not sure yet, but I am always happy to have a polish done. That puts me in this project at five on the year. Um, I did finish two, two, maybe three in another project. I cannot remember right off the top of my head. I'm sure somebody else will remember, but um, um, these are not the only polishes that I have worked on this year. The beginning of the year was kind of rough because I was trying to finish some projects or some projects that rolled over from last year that did have polish in them, but um, those projects are over now, so. I've got no conflict at all with my nail stuff. So five on the year for this particular project and seven-ish, maybe one or more um, beyond that that I just, uh, that I can't remember. I feel like I'm doing okay this year with nail polish. So let me show you um, the polishes that are still in here and then I'm gonna show you what I'm thinking about doing because I asked last time, if I should bring something else in. And um, some people said yes, some people said heck no. Um, not exactly the word heck, but you know what I mean. Um, like they're already saying, they're saying I already got enough going on, which is true, but um, bear with me here. Let me show you what I've got. Um, what I've got on my nails right now is the Kiss Gel Strong Polish in Pistachio. I love this, I love the wear of it. I don't love the brush. I know that's horrible, but like if it had a better brush, I would be wearing this like all the time because I do, I like the color, but the brush is just too like fat and blunt and it's, it's hard to get that good curve on your nail. But um, it's not completely settled because I just did my nails not that long ago, but I believe I am just below this purpley line right here. Um, if I am lower than that, once it's settled, um, I will put a mark on it so we know for next time, but I obviously have used it because it's on my nails right now. Um, I have used the INM Out the Door Northern Lights, but I was not able to do a new line on it. Um, I was kind of at the top of this purple, now I'm at the bottom of the purple. I love this, but it's starting to get thick and um, I'm kind of sad because I just, I love that polish so much but I know I can get another one. Um, Formidable by Wet n Wild, I might have used that once, but no real progress. Same with the gold striping polish. I have used it a little bit, but no new line. I am just below this bottom line here. Um, <laughs> my Super Frank in here, uh, that one, yeah. It's just gonna, it's gonna be the last one standing. I'm sure of it. Um, I really have not used Cherries in the Snow by Revlon or um, Purple Rain by Victoria's Secret. That one's old. Uh, let's see, the street Revlon Street Wear and Chilling. I thought I was going to be able to finish this one, but it had gotten so thick that I ended up having to put thinner in it and it put me right back up to the line where I was. And I wore this like two or three times and on my toes. So I am still pretty much at this bottom line. and. Um, 
definitely going to be focusing on this one for um, the next month or so. All right. I did make new lines on these. This is Muddy Potion by Little Sinful. I was at red and now I'm at purple. I did wear this one once, but the bottle is so tiny that wearing it once, you, you know, you can pretty much get a new line. That may or may not be a focus. I'm not sure. Um, I would like to get another one done, but we'll see. I'm, I'm just not, like that's one of those polishes that I just have to be in the mood for. And I really do like it with the INM out the door because this gets uh, like dinged up because it's metallic and it just doesn't set as well as I would like it to. But then the INM out the door has that beautiful like hollow glitter to it. And it, it almost like freeze dries everything. And it, it almost feels like a gel once that sets. It's, um, it's pretty solid. All right, uh, the Essence, what is this? Icy Fairy, I don't know why I can never remember this. It's big chunky glitter. I just had this on my nails like a few days ago with some green. Um, I did make a new line there and we are at the fattest part of the bottle. So hopefully um, as we start to get towards like the thinner part, this will go a little bit quicker, I'm hoping. That is a pain in the butt to take off. It is. Um, for some reason, the chunkier glitters are just a lot harder to take off than regular glitters, at least for me. And um, that's probably why it hasn't had more usage. All right. And then Sunflash by Revlon. I love this as a topper. And I was able to make a new line. Not anything amazing, but from there to there. And uh, this is probably going to be in for a couple more months because um, I just use one coat, one thin coat as a topper. And... It makes everything very happy. All right, um, I pretty much have the exact same um, like color story that I had last month, just uh, minus the one that um, I frankened this one, and I didn't even bring my like my color wheel thing out, so I'm not even worried about it. I am going to bring in two polishes, and before you say anything, just bear with me. I've been bored with what I have, which is crazy because I have a lot of color here, but this is just a testament to how bored I can get even with a lot of color. Um, so I decided to bring in a topper. It's one that I would love to get done this year and there's not a lot left in it. This is another Essence product. It is the Hollow Shimmer in Pixie Dust. And you can see where it is. It's actually just below that purple line. And um, this, definitely will change what a polish looks like. So I'm hoping it will encourage me to wear the red and the purple because I have not been feeling those lately, but I'm thinking with a hollow topper that I might actually be encouraged to wear those. And um, seriously, with as little as in here, um, it would be nice to have another polish out. So, you know, that is that. And because my item out the door is, um, it's getting really thick and sometimes I don't want the glitter. I'm actually gonna bring in a top coat. Uh, why I don't have a top coat in prior? Because I will sometimes just pull this out and use it anyway. I might as well just put it in this project and you know make some progress on it. Um, this is the Beauty Secrets, which is a Sally um, Beauty Supply brand. Um, and this is just like a nail hardener and thickener top coat. And I will mark it here soon. I've had this forever and it needs to get done. It's been in there. It's probably one of my oldest top coats, if not the oldest top coat. And it's awkward. I mean, it's big and bulky and awkward and I would like to get it done. So um, I hope you guys understand why I brought these two in basically as um, like toppers and um, as, as just a basic top coat because I feel like they're gonna help me use up what is already in here. I'm dying to bring in like a good pink, like pink, but um, yeah, I, I need to get this stuff done. I have a pink glitter, like a loose glitter I need to use. I have purple glitter I need to use. So if I, if I keep bringing in other like colors, I think it's going to hinder me in getting other stuff done. I need to have that motivation to get those glitters done and to get these other polishes done. So that is what I'm going to do. I am... Um, I'm fairly confident I can have at least one polish done by next time. My goal is going to be the Revlon Streetwear in Chilling. Maybe the INM um, top coat in Northern Lights. 
we'll see um we'll see if there's anything else uh I don't know if I'm feeling gold I might do a gold it could be the muddy potion I, I don't know but I'm definitely going to be working on the blue I've been feeling that a lot for summer but um we'll just we'll just have to play it by ear if you have a suggestion on what I should work on from what I've shown you please let me know down below because um I sometimes like logically if i took a step back and looked at things from someone else's perspective i can say oh you should do this this or this but when it's your own stuff sometimes you just you don't think about it so you know please give me your suggestions if you want to see color combos or anything like that um yeah put it down there i'm all ears all nails all right um if you are doing project polish this year or any kind of nail polish um project pam let me know i would love to come check you out i I absolutely adore fingernails so I'm weird like that I like nails but um, yeah let me know and I will come check out your channel please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and until I see you on my next video have a beautiful day